Hey there, little builders and mechanics. Welcome back to Tools for Kids, your go-to destination for exciting knowledge about tools. I'm Mr. Elliot, your guide on this journey of learning and knowledge. Before we dive into today's video, I wanna remind everyone about the importance of safety. Tools can be fun, but also dangerous. Safety always comes first. Make sure you ask an adult before using any tools and make sure you have the proper safety gear. Oh, hey there. Do you guys know what this thing is? Let's find out. Hey there, little builders. Today on Tools for Kids, we have a very useful tool. Can you see it right in here? Do you know what this is? You're right, it's a hammer. Now what in the world is a hammer, you might wonder? Well, a hammer is like a superhero for fixing and building things. Imagine it as a little helper with a head and a handle. Look at this, this is a real hammer. See the big heavy part at the end? That's called a head. It's the part that does the hard work. And the long part? That's the handle. It helps us hold the hammer comfortably when we need to put a nail into something, like hanging up a pitcher or building a tree house. We use a hammer. The heavy head helps the nail go into the wood and the handle helps us swing. Gently or with a big powerful thud. Hammers are like our friends when we want to build some things or fix some things that just need a little TLC. From making birdhouses to fixing a wobbly chair, hammers are there for us. Come with me, let's go see how this hammer works. Now if you're gonna use a hammer, make sure you put your eye protection and your ear protection on. You only get one set of eyes or ears. You don't wanna hurt them. So right here, we've got a piece of wood. And in my hand, this is a nail. You can see it's got one flat side and one pointy side. Can you guess which side goes into the wood and which side we hit with the hammer? If you said we're gonna put the pointy end into the wood, you'd be right. Then this big flat side, that's the side you hit with the head of the hammer. So you're gonna take this end right here and hit that nail. But be careful, watch your fingers. You tap it in nice and easy to get it started. Just like that, it should stand by itself. Then you could take the hammer and really hit it in. Look at that. That's pretty cool, huh? How handy is that? The hammer just did all the work for us. So since we know what the head of the hammer does, let's talk about the super cool part of the hammer called the claw. So after we use the head of the hammer to put the nail into the wood, the claw comes out to the rescue We we want to take the nail out. It's like magic fingers that grab into the nail and pull it out of the wood. Just like how you might pick up a toy with your fingers. The claw makes it easy peasy to fix things or move them around. So after putting that nail into the wood right there, it's time to take it out with the claw. Now, it's pretty simple. You just slide those two fingers in there and then get a good grip of that handle and pull it back. Just like that, the nail comes out. So even though you put the nail into the wood, doesn't mean you can't get it out. It's like an all-in-one nail machine. So next time you see a hammer, remember it's not just a tool, it's a helper builder and a friend. Isn't that cool? If you guys learned something today and you're interested in tools and you want to learn more, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. I've got plenty more videos coming and we're going to learn about all the tools in my shop. Don't forget, I'm Mr. Elliot, thanks for watching Tools for Kids and I'll see you on the next one. By watching these videos, you agree to release tools for kids and Mr. Elliot from any liability related to the activities demonstrated. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.